What's good, y'all? Now we're talking about Z Spot from the Gun Bunch Week. Uh, I don't think a lot of people use this play enough. This play can torch. Like, let's see the play the defense is in. They're in cover three right now. We just gone shade underneath, shade over top, whatever. Put them in Kyle Flats. They're in cover three. I don't think a lot of people take this play serious because I think a lot of people only use this play for this little flood concept over here. Just an easy basic. It's like the halfback wheel. But I think it's if a lot of people was to use the play the right way or actually use the X route, they'll be a lot more deadlier because you can torch a zone over the middle. So the setup I like to use, I like the streak B. I like the pet RB just like that. And then I like to put, uh, what am I doing? Then I like to put, what are you doing? Stay over there. I like to pit B on a fade route, pit B on a fade. Then you want to pitch your running back, like make him go to the right instead of going like an out, put him on an in route to the right. Because now instead of having that uh, tied in in the flat, you still got somebody in the flat so you can flood someone if you want to. Like, what are you doing, bro? And the person you want to motion over to tight end, I don't know, I'm just motion over random people. And the reason why you want motion over to tight end, because for one, you get a speed burst, and two, you are going to clear out that zone for that post to open up. And I'm going to show you what, what I'm talking about. Motion him over right before he gets hot. You see, he gets the speed burst. They just want to throw it. Well, you don't want to throw it like that. My bad, y'all. My bad. My B, my B. They just played that real good. Like I said, that's uh what you basically want to do. So motion him over. Boom. You're gonna help. Oh my god. The computer just nano me, bro. I forgot using random plays. But I like like I said, that's basically the setup, and that can beat man. We're just going to go into it. Let's just go into Tampa 2. I like to really use it against Tampa 2. So, streak this guy. Move him over. Pitch your running back on the out if you want to flood somebody. I really use... I would mainly put him on a curl so he can hold the zones. So, he can hold that zone down. And then, I like, to hit him just like that. But, usually, that doesn't happen all the time. Um, so, like I said, motion him over. Pit him on there. You can even, if you want, put B on the end. If you don't, like, if you're really trying to attack someone in the middle and have more reads, like, you can just hit him like that. But really, I think a lot of people, the main route I like to use on this play is that Z spot route. And this Z spot route, literally, like, I don't think people understand how deadly this play is. Like, especially against man, like, y'all see right there. Like, that time, I don't know why he's playing like superstars. I like, will cover Z in. Like, they're in cover three. Like, this. I don't know. Like, Z-Spot is just the... Like, you see, even against cover three, it's going to beat... As long as you just wait for it, that route can beat almost any route. And then the other basic reads you got on this play is if you really want to motion this guy out, make a read from there. All right, he's in a purple. Throw it to a quick flat. Uh, that's just what you want to do on that. But the main route we're looking at is the freaking... The deep post route. And I like to motion somebody over to bring that zone away. They come away, boom, you get him out of there and just hit Antonio Brown just like that. It's going to be that easy. Make sure y'all practice this before y'all go into a game with it. But until then, it's your boy, j -Man.